The International Atomic Energy Agency says radioactive water leaking from the Fukushima Daiichi power plant may reach the west coast of North America in one to two years. The nuclear watchdog held a meeting of member countries in Vienna on Thursday. They were briefed on how workers are still struggling to get the situation at the plant along Japan's Pacific coast under control. The IAEA said contaminated water may be carried across the Pacific by a circulating current known as the Kuroshio and reach the coast of North America by next year at the earliest. This is based on its analysis of data provided by Japan and other sources. The agency also said traces of cesium-134 and cesium-137 leaking from the plant may be detected around the Pacific for another two to three years, but at levels so low they would not pose a threat to human health. A group of Japanese seismologists knew about the risk of a huge tsunami in northeastern Japan before the disaster of March 11th. They had put together a report in February and were planning to release it in April. The report by the government's Earthquake Research Committee focuses on earthquakes and tsunamis of the Pacific coast of northeastern Japan. It includes an analysis of an earthquake that hit the region more than 1,140 years ago. The report says that earthquake was caused by three sections of the seabed shifting at the same time. It says the quake probably had a magnitude of about 8.3 and that it caused a huge tsunami that flooded vast areas of Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures. It says the region should be warned that the same kind of disaster could happen again. Can damage your health? What's can got to do with it? Can, could, might, possibly, maybe, does is the word we want to hear. The probability of the disaster was very low, but we should have warned that lots of people could die if it happened. Japanese Prime Minister Naoto Kan has called for the reactors at a nuclear power plant in central Japan to be shut down. But he's going to have to explain why he wants to halt operations at the Hamaoka facility, as well as Japan's mid- to long-term energy policy. The Hamaoka nuclear power plant in Shizuoka prefecture is 180 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. Experts have long warned of a mega earthquake and the plant lies directly above where the focus is expected to be. Khan said on Friday that he had asked the plant's operator to stop all five reactors until necessary safety measures are completed. He pointed out that the plant has an 87 percent chance of being hit by a magnitude 8 earthquake in the next 30 years. The Prime Minister's nuclear advisor, Goshi Hosono, says Khan made the decision because public safety should not be compromised. But the Hamalka facility is not the only nuclear power plant that could be threatened by quakes and tsunamis. Some other facilities are at risk because they're close to active faults. Some members of the ruling party say Khan's decision was too sudden and could have repercussions for such nuclear plants. The Secretary General of the Liberal Democratic Party, Nobutero Ishihara, said he wants to ask the Prime Minister in the Diet whether he had considered Japan's overall electricity needs. The operator of the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant is stepping up its efforts to cool the number one reactor. On Friday, it increased the amount of water being pumped into the containment vessel from 6 to 8 tons per hour. Tokyo Electric Power Company plans to submerge the reactor by filling the containment vessel with water. It's monitoring the water level and the pressure in the reactor. It says there have been no big change in the pressure an hour after it increased the rate of water injection. Workers need to be inside the building for the cooling effort, so they have installed a filtering system that removes radioactive substances from the air. TEPCO released photos taken while workers were installing the filtering system. This worker is checking radiation levels. These ducts draw radioactive air from the reactor building and carry filtered air back. TEPCO says if radiation in the building falls, workers will enter as early as Sunday to install devices needed for submerging the reactor and to inspect pipes.